Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy and family movie from 2010 called Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. At the beginning of the movie, a boy named Greg is woken up in the middle of the night by his older brother, Roderick, who tells him he's going to be late for school. Greg rushes to get ready and wakes everyone up in the process. When his father comes downstairs, Greg realizes Roderick was playing a prank on him. Later, during breakfast, it's clear that Greg often gets teased by Roderick and his younger brother, Manny. On his first day of school, Greg finds the hallways chaotic and students vandalizing things. As he walks to class, he expresses his dislike for middle school since most of his classmates are bigger and stronger than him. He feels a bit better when he sees his friend, Chirag Gupta, who is the shortest student in the class. Greg also meets Rowley, who still acts childish and is not quite ready for middle school. They sit next to each other in class. During P.E., Greg and Rowley are not interested in participating. They sit on a bench and talk until their classmate, Fregley, who is often sent home for hygiene issues, joins them. The gym teacher, Coach Malone, has them play a game called Gladiator, where one team chases the other and tries to make them fall. Greg and Rowley manage to escape and hide under the stairs, where they meet a girl named Angie, who is also avoiding P.E. Angie tells them she spends the whole class hiding there and invites them to join her, but they leave when they hear the coach's whistle. While walking, they see a piece of cheese on the ground. As Greg bends down to check it out, Chirag warns him not to touch it and tells him about the cheese touch curse. He explains that anyone who touches the cheese becomes an outcast until they pass the curse to another student by touching them. The curse only ended when a German exchange student took it back to his country. Greg and Rowley are disturbed by the story. Later, Greg is disappointed to find out that the school toilets don't have doors and he doesn't get a seat in the cafeteria, so he has to sit on the floor with Rowley and Fregley. After classes, some students bully Greg when they find out he is friends with Rowley. At home, Greg takes Rowley to his brother Roderick's room and starts reading his school magazine. Unfortunately, Roderick arrives and threatens to beat up Greg. Luckily, Greg manages to lock himself in his room with Rowley's help. However, Greg soon needs to use the bathroom. He apologizes to Roderick, who is waiting outside, but Roderick isn't backing down. As time passes, Greg still sees Roderick's boots under the door. When Greg can't hold it any longer, he rushes outside, only to discover Roderick left long ago, leaving just his boots. Greg then rushes to the toilet and starts peeing, but Roderick suddenly appears from behind the curtains and a startled Greg pees on him. Their mother arrives at the scene and Greg is punished again. The next day at school, Greg and Rowley check out different classroom activities on the notice board. Greg's old enemy, Patty, shows up and threatens him, saying she's running for student council president. She reminds him of how he made fun of her appearance in the past. Angie also appears and suggests Greg write articles for the school magazine, but the boys don't take her seriously and decide to sign up for wrestling instead. When they go to the wrestling ring, they're disappointed to find it's not what they expected. Coach Malone divides the students by weight, and Greg ends up with Fregley as his opponent. During the match, Fregley continuously beats Greg. At home, Greg tries to eat more to gain weight, hoping to face Rowley in the next match. While Roderick advises him to quit, his father encourages him to train harder. Greg then tricks the scale by putting weights in his shoes, allowing him to get into Rowley's group. However, his opponent turns out to be Patty, who beats him again. His loss is published on the front page of the school magazine. Greg then thinks of another way to become popular. He dresses formally and walks down the hallway, attracting everyone's attention. However, he gets disappointed when he sees Rowley also dressed the same way, leading the entire class to mock them and claim they are in love. Greg realizes he is failing in everything because of Rowley's old-fashioned style. So, he decides to change Rowley's look. Greg revamps Rowley's wardrobe, teaches him how to act cool, and even paints his bicycle black. The next morning, Rowley looks much better. That night, Rowley comes to Greg's house dressed in a funny king's costume with a red blinker on his chest while Greg dresses as a pirate for Halloween. They plan to walk to the rich neighborhoods for trick-or-treating, but Roderick scares them with stories about a forest called Devil Worshipper Wood, where children are abducted. Despite the scary story, they go to the colony and collect many candies and chocolates. On their way back, some teenagers bully them, and Greg threatens to call the police. This makes the teenagers furious, and they start chasing Greg and Rowley. Luckily, they manage to hide in Greg's grandmother's house. While escaping, Greg accidentally scratches the teenager's car with a weed eater, making them even angrier. When the bullies are about to attack, Greg and Rowley run into Devil Worshipper Wood, where they hear strange noises and run away, only to realize later that the noises were made by Fregley. 
The next day, Greg and Rowley decide to join the safety patrol, thinking it will be a cool activity. They get bold outfits, shiny badges, and even a cup of cocoa in the afternoon while helping juniors cross the road. They notice the same teenagers from the previous night but manage to hide by standing in line with the other kids. Months pass and it is now winter. One day, while playing in the snow, Rowley falls and breaks his hand. To his surprise, his broken hand makes him popular and admired. Many schoolgirls find him funny and let him sit with them at lunch. Rowley is now treated as a cool guy, which makes Greg jealous. Greg fakes an infection in his hand to get sympathy but fails. Later, Greg learns that the cartoonist for the school magazine is sick. He sees this as an opportunity to become famous by creating cartoons and starts practicing at home. However, he struggles to come up with a good idea. He then asks Rowley for help and Rowley suggests a funny character named Zooey Mama. Greg disagrees, finding it boring and repetitive, and tells Rowley to make the cartoon himself. One afternoon during a heavy rain, Greg mistakes an approaching car for the teenagers who bullied them. He quickly leads the juniors into a hole to hide. As he is about to jump in, a guardian mistakes him for Rowley because of the raincoat. In the next class, Rowley is declared the new cartoon artist because of his funny comic Zooey Mama. Greg, meanwhile, feels upset because he remains unnoticed. While walking down the hallway, the school security officer takes Rowley to his office and removes him from safety patrol duty for allegedly misbehaving with the juniors. Rowley is shocked because he has no idea what the officer is talking about. Greg then confesses that he was the one who misbehaved. Devastated, Rowley ends their friendship. The news spreads and Greg is boycotted by everyone. The security officer also learns about Greg's actions and removes him from duty, promoting Rowley to captain for his kindness. As time passes, Greg tries various ways to become more popular than Rowley, but his lack of friends and support demotivates him. Greg then auditions for a role in the school play, impressing the selector with his singing. However, Patty threatens the selector to give her the lead role due to her influential parents, and Greg is assigned the role of a tree. Greg considers quitting but stays when Chirag mentions that trees can throw apples at Patty. During the school play, Greg spots Roderick filming his humiliation and stops singing. Patty gets furious, leading to a fight on stage where students throw apples at each other. The next morning, Roderick brings a crumpled invitation for a mother and son sweetheart dance that Greg had thrown away. Greg refuses to go, but his family insists, making him furious. In revenge, he slips adult magazines into Roderick's bag, leading to Roderick being grounded. That night, Greg and his mother attend the dance. Greg tries to reconcile with Rowley but fails. When the music starts, Rowley dances excellently with his mother. The next morning, Rowley visits Greg to retrieve a video game he left at Greg's house. Greg hesitates to return it. Patty arrives and encourages them to fight. As they prepare to hit each other, the teenagers from Halloween night arrive and start bullying them. One of the teenagers forces Rowley to eat the foul cheese on the ground. When it's Greg's turn, Coach Malone chases the bullies away. All the students discover that the cheese has been eaten. Before they can blame Rowley, Greg takes the blame, terrifying everyone who then flee from Greg. Only Rowley and Angie stay with him. Rowley reconciles with Greg and they agree to play video games together that night. In the final scene, Patty hands out the school yearbook but refuses to give one to Greg, claiming he has the cheese touch. She embraces Rowley, unaware of the truth. In the yearbook, Greg and Rowley manage to place themselves in the cutest friends section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.